All right, all right, all right. Time for our second physics problem using a yo-yo. Look at my picture. You've seen similar pictures before. This is our physics yo-yo made of wood. The two outer discs have radius R2 and the inner disc has radius R1. If you ever need it in this problem, you may assume that the thickness of these three discs are the same. So this thickness is the same as this, is the same as this, but you may not need that. The yo-yo is made of the same wood, density is everywhere the same. And the string is wound around the inner disc, around this disc. So you can assume, even with the string around it, that the inner radius is R1 and doesn't change. There's friction here. I make the string go off in this direction and I pull very carefully, very slowly. I don't jerk because I don't want the yo-yo to start slipping here. If this had zero friction, of course, it would never start to roll. It would always slip. And I don't want that. So I pull at an angle beta, which is modestly small. I very gradually increase that pull. And I notice that all of a sudden, the yo-yo will start to roll in this direction. I make beta a little larger, I repeat the demonstration and it will again roll in this direction. Now when I keep making beta larger and larger, there comes a moment when beta is larger than a critical value that even though I pull in this direction, the yo-yo will now roll in this direction. So it will roll in the opposite direction that I pull. And the question for you is, what is that critical angle? The analytical solution may not be so easy. Of course, I will show it to you when I post my solutions. I have a surprise for a perhaps much easier solution. But you will see that. So, try it, build your own yo-yo, and you will see the effect. It's very clear, very clear. Don't ask me, is my solution correct or is it wrong? Don't do that. I'm not even sure that I will post all wrong solutions. For sure, if the solution is perfect and it has the right angle, beta, critical, then for sure I will not post it. However, if your solution is not posted, it doesn't necessarily mean that your solution is correct. So now I'm going to try to demonstrate this to you. It is not so easy, because this platform that I have built is not necessarily perfectly horizontal. And when it is slightly tilted, then the yo-yo will start to roll just because the surface is not perfectly horizontal. Okay. All right, I think this will help. You will see it now very clearly. Okay, you ready? So, the yo-yo is here. Oh, I'm lucky, it's not moving all by itself. The angle beta is quite small and I will slowly increase my pull. It's rolling in my direction. I will repeat it.
And I will make the angle beta a little larger. Still rolling in my direction. Now I will repeat it and make the angle beta substantially larger. And now it's rolling away from me. Do it again. Beta is now substantially larger and it's rolling away from me. Large beta and it's rolling away from me. So, give it a try and send me the values for beta critical. And yes, of course, we'll still be friends. You have a nice day and take care.